Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. This one is a really important one, whether you're a home gardener or a farmer, we're gonna be talking about how to make unlimited plants of comfrey, which if you don't know about comfrey, it's one of the most useful plants on the planet for medicinal reasons, uh, for nutrient creation. You can make fermented plant juice out of it. You can make kind of an anaerobic tea out of it. You can use it as animal uh, feed. You can use it as a compost accelerator. Uh, it's also uh, mines a lot of minerals out of the ground. It's also high in nitrogen. So um, if you need some good greens for your compost, that's it's fantastic. Um, it's a good chop and drop just mulch. It's great for putting around trees. I've even um, recently I heard a farmer talking about planting it around a tree system. If you have really invasive grasses, um, it'll kind of stop it from encroaching in further. So there's just a lot of different uses for this thing. I've used medicinal salves out of this as well. So anyways, we're going to talk about the four ways that you can propagate comfrey, whether from seed or from root or crown. So let's go check out the plant and how to do this. So here's where I have some of my comfrey patches. And comfrey is a plant that if you leave a root behind, it will grow back and become another plant. So it is pretty invasive. So you wanna keep in mind where you're planting this. It's not gonna go away. And it's even more hard to get rid of than even like a sweet potato. So wherever it's gonna go, make sure it's a place that you are fine with it being permanent and it coming back every single year. If you get the true seed, uh, comfrey then also think about that if you are willing to let the seed either drop around and create new comfrey or let it blow and go somewhere else to have comfrey so that's also something else to think about all right so let's just go ahead and dig it up and then we'll separate everything and get it going I'll show you a picture of what a comfrey plant looks like so that you can recognize the leaves you can see a couple of them here it has a very distinct look And this plant's been here for probably three years, so it's got some really good root systems under here. Okay, okay, and then that's all we're gonna need. As you can see, here's a piece of the comfrey root. You know, here's more of the comfrey root. This is going to come back as another plant next year. So the first thing we need to do is just divide this up. And the plant's divided up into roots and then crown. Let's use my hori hori knife to uh, cut this apart, make it easier. If you haven't seen my little review of the hori hori knife and how cool it is, there are things you can do with it. Okay, so here's the full crown and here's the root attached. So now we can pro propagate both of these, the root you just need about an inch. This will take much longer to root out and to leaf out than the crown. This will take like four weeks or maybe longer. It depends when you're propagating. If you're propagating in spring or summer, um, the higher heat is gonna help speed up that process. If you're trying to do it in winter or something, um, if you live in cold temperatures, it's gonna take a long time or it might not even work. Now the crown at the top here, this will, this will root and um, grow really fast for you. And you can even split up the crown like I just did. And now there's two plants here. Use a one gallon, these are 700 milliliter cups. You can use whatever you have. For the crowns, it needs to be a bit longer. If there's a little bit of the green sticking up on the crown, that's totally fine. I think that's even better for it, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna leave this in a place that is outside of direct sunlight. Let it sit there. Um, until you start seeing actual new growth. When you start seeing the plant um, respond and start seeing healthy growth, then you know there's some roots and it started to take hold. So then you could put it out into the sun and then treat it like a normal plant. You can also use smaller roots like this. It really doesn't matter. Um, they will work. I've noticed though that the thicker roots seem to have a higher success rate. The crowns are basically a guaranteed success rate. The smaller roots, uh, maybe it's more like an 80% success rate, something like that. So for the roots, you want to plant them, I'd say like a minimum of an inch. You can, do, you can go down a couple inches. The next technique that I'm going to show you is burying it just in the ground. And I've experimented with that. I've planted it like four inches down and it still had the ability to pop through. If you have your smaller ones, use the smaller root. I'll just break it. If it already has some roots on it, 
Um, that's really beneficial. It'll have an easier time recovering. They can grow roots from nothing though. If they didn't have any of this and it's just the bare thing, it'll pop roots out of here on each side. And that's it. And then I just need to water these in. These are good to go. So that's two ways. Let's show you the third way. So the next way to propagate comfrey, if you have the right variety of comfrey, and I don't remember the exact Latin name, but I'll put a link to the where I got to the seeds, which is groworganic.com, and they sell the true comfrey plants, which will produce viable seed. I, this is from 2017. When I saved them, I have planted these seeds, confirmed that yes, in fact, they do create another comfrey plant. So that's really cool. Now for saving seeds, I have a really good tip for you that I learned, I think from watching a YouTube video a long time ago. So these are called organza bags. They're used for putting jewelry in, or I, I don't know what people really are supposed to use them for, but you know, it's a hundred bags for like five bucks or something. So what you'll want to do, this is can, this can be used on basically any flower that's going to seed. After the flower has, has bloomed, and it, you'll notice that it will fall off after it's been pollinated. So wait for a section of flowers to look pretty much done with the dried out petals. This goes for most plants or starting of the formation of the seed. Sometimes that's a better timing to put this on because you wanna make sure that it gets pollinated first. You'll put this over the top of the flower section, squeeze, and now all the flower and seeds are contained within here. So over the next couple weeks, as you're waiting for the seeds to dry and fall into the bag, you don't have to worry, you don't have to pay attention, you just leave the bag on it um, and then come back, harvest the seed and then separate out the stuff you don't want. So highly recommend this. I'll put a link to the description to this and any, anything else I think might help you for this process. And there's nothing special about comfrey seed, plant it a half an inch and wait. Okay, so I've shown you three ways. You can propagate by root, by crown, by seed. But all of those, you kind of have to do two steps. You plant it in another pot, wait till it grows out, then you plant it in the ground. Well, my fourth way is the best way if you want to plant a lot of comfrey, um, like hundreds of plants or a big comfrey patch, or you just have some different areas you'd like to bring more fertility to, more diversity, any of that. This technique works perfectly. And I did this in my other neighbor's yard. So you're just gonna dig a little, you know, two inch hole, toss it in, cover it up, compress it a little, and that's it. So you can see how fast it will go. You know, you could do a hundred in an hour very, very, very easily, hundreds in an hour. And then if you're during your part of your dry season or you're in a drought, of course, water. If you're in the rainy season like I am right now, the ground's already super moist and we'll get rain in the next week or two anyways, so I can just leave this. So. Uh, doing this technique during a time of year when it rains and you can count on that is perfect. Um, like in San Diego, I wouldn't do this at the beginning of summer because we're not going to get rain. So that means I got to come out here and water it and do all that. So for me in San Diego, propagating in winter is the best because then spring it comes up. And for most people, I think that will be the case that you'll want to propagate these um, in winter or the previous fall, wait till the spring and then plant them. Really hope this video helped you learn more about comfrey, what an amazing plant it is, and how useful it is in the garden, and of course, just how easy it is to propagate. So uh, I just highly recommend having this plant on hand for anybody who grows their own food. One other thing I forgot to mention that it's really good at is pollination. I've seen anything from a hummingbird to a butterfly to bees to you name it. Every pollinator loves the comfrey plant, so it's another fantastic thing about it.